Hi guys, welcome back. And yep, I am successfully here with another narrated video without a month's delay. So today we are going to paint 2B, 9S, and A2 from one of my favorite video games that is Near Automata. I love this game so much, especially because of because of its story and the idea. And I have tried to I have tried my best to project the whole story in my artwork. So we are going to paint that today. And before we jump into the process, I'll be discuss, discussing the story, the plot of the game. So spoilers ahead for this game which came out a few years ago. And with that behind, let's paint the artwork. So I already had this basic idea for the sketch that will show A2, 9S fighting off screen enemies and 2B reaching out upward for something. This is the point of the process where the idea and composition of artwork is logged. First I make a really rough sketch and then I spend some time cleaning it up. After that I go straight to the base colors without making a fine line art because the artwork will not be a line based artwork at the end. And I am confident that I have made no mistakes in the drawing so far. So no clean line art for this artwork and jump straight into the painting for the color and feel of this piece and overall idea I took inspiration from the story of the game initially thought of painting a deep blue at the bottom making a gradient of it with golden yellow at the top idea behind it was the androids are being held down by something which is trying to keep them from reaching the truth and in the artwork golden yellow will represent the truth and freedom. So I left it to that and started painting the characters. I started with dark shade of the atmosphere color as base color for the characters because I decided to go from dark to light in this artwork. And yes, the method is very different from my technique of painting artworks, but I am trying a different way because it's because it's good to keep learning new things. And I picked up this technique from one of my absolute favorite favorite artists, who goes by the name Volop, W L O P. So I think I hope it turns out good. In this method, rather than doing the step by step method of doing flats, then shade, then light, this method feels more of a traditional painting approach where you roughly block out the shading and lighting of the whole piece side by side. And I have to say this method is way messier than my previous method, but it does feel more natural and painterly. You can already see that I have cancelled the idea of yellow glow in the upper portion of the artwork because it looked very distracting. In its place I have painted in these strings of light which are attacking the characters and I have a very good idea of what I am going to paint above 2B the thing she is reaching out for. You will know what it is soon or by the end of the artwork. Also guys, I have recorded the process of this artwork in a different manner. I mean 
as you can see the screen is completely stable there is no zooming in or out like my previous artwork videos so you guys tell me which way do you enjoy seeing the artwork in the previous way or in this current manner For the background of this artwork I have just roughly painted in a goliath class machine from the game because of storytelling purposes and also it will help with the composition. So while I paint that I want to talk about the story of the game and it changed how it changed and developed the artwork. The story of the game is based on the question of individuality and free will. At least this is how I interpret it. There is an endless war going on between androids and machines and the sad part is that they are not fighting for themselves but for their masters. Androids are fighting for humans and machines are fighting for aliens. And Gameplay wise the master thing that the game did was to get the full experience of the game you have to play it three times first in the role of 2b then in the role of 9s and the final gameplay you play as 9s and a2 so somewhere in the first gameplay you play as 2b it is revealed that aliens have been dead for centuries as machines grew much stronger and stronger they wiped out their masters the aliens in the later gameplays as 9s you find out that even the humans have been extinct for ages now even before when the aliens invaded and in fact their extinction happened because of their own mistake so this fake scenario of a war for mankind was constructed just to give the androids a reason to live and die for and being in the shoes of one of those androids throughout the game you experience that how much suffering pain and loss both sides go through to win this senseless endless war and when much later you find out all of these revelations the reality becomes absolutely soul crushing this is what i wanted to show in my artwork to visualize it i painted strings by which the androids in the foreground and even the machines in the background are being controlled and held down yes the actual enemy is their own code program and those orange strings in the artwork they represent that program or their code you can say while both are trying and fighting their hardest to reach the truth and free consciousness only to find out there is a very nihilistically dark truth to be uncovered at the end of all this struggle this is the story of this artwork and the game and that's the reason why you should all play near automata so that is it guys that was my thoughts behind the game and this artwork and i don't know when did i turn my art channel into a video essay channel but i hope you enjoyed hearing my thoughts and just like always tell me what you think about it in the comment section below tell me if you have played near automata i love meeting people who have played this awesome game and connect with me on your favorite social platforms all of that is in the description and I'll meet you guys in the next video.